reading from the New Testament. New Testament, um, the King James Version of the uh, Holy Bible as uh, interpreted by the Gullah culture. A, Gullah, a culture which, at least on my maternal side, is represented by, well, my maternal side. Let's go to any page here. Oh, let's go to Luke. Let's do page uh, 249. Why not? Go to... Go to 33? No, let's go to 34. Uh, Luke 11. 34. Ye eye like a lamp for the body. If you got good eye and your body full up with delight, with, with, with light, but if ye eye Ain't no good. All ye body gonna be seen the dark. That's 34. And the interpretation, uh, yeah, well, old English or English interpretation is, the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when the eye, when, when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when the eye, <coughs> oh, excuse me, it's early morning. But when the eye is evil, the body also is full of darkness. Sorry, I wake up early morning. And, well, morning, I always have this uh, release in my body. And that's why I drink my hot water too. My hot water's over there. So let's try this again. The eye like a lamp fill for the body for the body if you got good eye all your body full up with light but if your eye ain't no good all your body going to be seen is the dark i guess that's self-explanatory and talk about self-explanatory one of the things the reason why i'm reading these readings in the morning is because a couple of things um one, I wanted to feel, no, one not that feel, eh. you know, when, 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 when we got out of slavery, those of, those of us who, uh, who have lineage in slavery, uh, for North American slavery, um, you know, couldn't read, you know, most couldn't read, and, uh, they used the Holy Bible as an instrument to read, and, uh, the other thing, one other thing is that my grandmother, uh, she would wake up every morning at six o'clock and read the Bible. And I, I wake up early anyways. It's after six right now, but I wake up early anyway. And when she's reading, I would come out, pat out to the, to the well, there was a living room, then the dining, school of dining rooms, right off the kitchen, the eating area. And that's where she would read the Bible every morning. Sometimes she'd be, she'd be on her knees. Some, sometimes I remember her on her knees. Anyway, so, um, but she would never send me, oh, come in here or listen to this. She just do her thing and that's it. She wouldn't engage me or anything like that. And, Oh, actually, I was also waking up early because I would give her her insulin shot uh, for for uh, for diabetes. So uh, that's uh, that's why I do this every morning, and perhaps I'll get good at it. I actually like that. I like that passage. Let me read it again. Turn my glasses because sometimes I, a lot of times I get in trouble just because I whatever. But I like this passage. Oh, ooh, it's clear. <laughs> This is uh, Luke 11, 34, worth reading yet another time. E I like a lamp for the body. If you got good eye, all your body fill up with light. But if it, the eye ain't no good, all your body going to be seen is dark. E I is like the, whoo, what you see, what you feel. You know, that's what goes in. And if you constantly see feeling ugly things, you're going to be ugly. I guess this is a commentary on ugly things. War, you know, destruction, whatever. So, hey, see joy, be joy.
it's just a, a, no, a reading, a, and it's a, 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 some, um, an interpret, an interpretation from me, T, from the Patterson Sacred Trains, Tibet, let you know what I only suspect.